To solve an equation with one variable, we want to isolate that variable on one side of the equation and leave only a constant on the other side of the equation. To get from the equation we're given to an equation in this form, we have to perform a series of operations. At each step, we must make sure that any operation we perform to one side of the equation, we also perform to the other side of the equation. Let's take a look at some of the operations that we often perform on both sides of an equation. First, addition or subtraction. x plus y equals y plus 2, so we subtract y from both sides to get x equals 2. Multiplication. 0.5x equals 2, so we multiply both sides by 2 to get x equals 4. Division. 7x equals 21. Divide both sides by 7 to get x equals 3. Squaring both sides or raising them to a higher power. Square root of x equals 17. Square both sides to get x equals 289. Taking the square root or another root. x to the fourth equals 81. Take the fourth root of both sides, x equals 3 or x equals minus 3. Remember that when we take the even root of a positive number, the result can be either positive or negative. Let's take a look at an example equation. x squared plus 8 equals 24. Subtract 8 from both sides to get x squared equals 16. To isolate x, take the square root of both sides, x equals 4 or x equals minus 4. Again, when we take the even root of a positive number, the result can be positive or negative. Let's take a look at another example equation. 7m minus 6 over 2 equals 12 plus m. First, since we see that there's a denominator on the left-hand side, multiply both sides by 2. We get 7m minus 6 equals 24 plus 2m. Next, we bring all the variables over to one side by subtracting 2m from both sides. We get 5m minus 6 equals 24. Next, we get all of the constants on one side by adding 6. This gives us 5m equals 30. Finally, we divide by 5 to isolate m. This gives us m equals 6.